On the other side of this concrete wall is Interstate 90. We're just past the Broadway exit, and that's where this morning in the westbound lanes, a pickup truck lost control and crashed through this sidewall. You can see just how much speed that person had when they came into contact with the concrete. Gives you an idea of just how dangerous this morning's commute was. For state patrol troopers, this morning was beyond busy. Too many slide offs and collisions to count. Two in less than an hour, right here near the Hamilton overpass. Two drivers collided in the eastbound lanes. Shortly after that, a delivery truck in the westbound lane lost traction. The vehicles following that truck couldn't stop in time. A jackknife semi truck brought traffic to a standstill at the top of Sunset Hill and possibly today's worst delay, a five vehicle pileup in the westbound lanes of the interstate just before the Thor Freya exit. While state plow trucks were out in full force, many of you asked us on Facebook, where are the de-icers? The Department of Transportation says they use two chemicals to help melt the ice, sodium chloride, salt, and calcium chloride. Both chemicals are ineffective when temps drop below 20 degrees. Using those chemicals on a day like today would have been a waste of resources. DOT says sand is their next best option. They urge drivers, though, to slow down and give the vehicle in front of you extra space. Being a few minutes late to work could save you from a real nightmare. It could also save your life. Reporting on Interstate 90, Casey Lund, KXLY 4 News.